ഭ്രാന്തി ഉദിത ഉദിത ബോൺ ഔട്ട് ഓഫ് ഭ്രാന്തി യുവർ ഡെല്യൂഷൻ ഡെല്യൂഷൻ ഇസ് സബ്ജക്റ്റീവ് ഇന്റലക്ട് it is through delusion because of delusion that you see things which are not there and that is called illusion these two words are often used in vedanta don't get confused illusion is what you see outside delusion is the subjective confusion in your own intellect so when born out of the delusion of your intellect ignorance in the intellect the incapacity to think about it the tamas in the intellect which wills its capacity to observe carefully and analyze things discriminate things delusion born out of delusion brandodita mahasap the great poisonous serpent pain the fear arising of seeing the terrible serpent born out of your delusion bhaya dukha because of the fear there is the pain or the the sorrow maybe it has eaten me with me and i may be dying now vinashini all that sorrow the moment the delusion has ended on seeing the rope the delusion has ended delusion created the serpent serpent created the fear fear created the sorrow all these logical sequence of effects all have ended when the cause the delusion of the mind in the intellect is removed in the same way the pluralistic phenomenal world you are seeing the reality behind it you and i are not directly experiencing at this moment by close analysis intelligent recognizing the world outside recognizing recognizing when the word is used you don't understand the meaning re cognizing cognizing seeing re seeing look at it once more rub your eyes and look at it is it so <laughs> it is not i misunderstood so you are at this moment seeing the pluralistic phenomenal world nothing of god or the reality because of the delusion and once the delusion ended and you had the glimpse of that reality all these sorrows created by the delusory world of plurality ends at one and the same time as instructed by the great rishis for your benefit hitam what they have prescribed in that prescribed path if you are raising or changing turning your mental at tension in that direction then you come to experience this higher state of consciousness the reality the substratum behind the world of plurality vidoktira nasnane sanji three times i take a bath what do you <laughs> without taking a bath i don't take my tea in the morning so what nasnane ganga ji mein i am living next to ganga ji and therefore i take bath every day and i cook my food in the land why early morning in a lota i take ganga jal only <laughs> na stane na na dane na i have given up so much i had all my wealth i have given up na dane na pranayama shate na hundred times or thousand times let us say endlessly pranayam controlling uh, taking it by the left nostril and then pulling it inside and then <laughs> at the proportion and then uh, one doing it in one corner of your room shankara says 
pranayam shate nava. Hundred times you may do it, you can't reach it. Ha! Huh? All these are useful. Don't think that they are useless. They purify your mind. With the purified mind, you have to re-evaluate what you are perceiving and recognize, come to see that substratum, the permanent, the changeless, the immutable, upon which the changeable, the variable is playing about. You have to recognize. Mm. That tuning up. It all depends upon your adhikara, your fitness to get this great knowledge. Bhalasiddhir visheshata. Some people get the Bhalasiddhi the effect. They get the results quickly. Others a little slow. It is all because of the quality in you. Ramakrishna touched Vivekananda, Vivekananda burst into the knowledge. According to the autobiography, not autobiography. You mean to say Ramakrishna there afterwards was always wearing a gloves so that he may not touch anybody else? <laughs> he was touching everybody, but Vivekananda got it. Why? He was fit for it. If a horseshoe magnet you rub on a tin from morning till evening, tin will remain as tin. Put it on a soft iron, iron gets all the qualities of the magnet. So don't say that, Samji, touch me. <laughs> Why waste my hand? I have to wash <laughs> by touching you. You are so dirty. You can't touch it. Ramakrishna touch it. You forget Ramakrishna touch it. But you forget it is whom did he touch? Vivekananda he touched. Are you Vivekananda? My toe will do. Hand is not necessary. <laughs> I, it is not that because of a student. He is Adhikari. He is fit for it. Thus, Adhikari Namashaste. Bhalasiddhir visheshata. Quickly, you can perceptibly see that. The result of one student is better than the other. Both of them are studying in the same class. The same teacher is teaching, but one gets the knowledge more firmly. The other, vaguely. Today, I could not understand anything. Why? The teacher did not bless me. The same words the teacher said. But the man who is sitting next to you, he said, today it was wonderful. Oh, good. Balasiddhi visheshata. No doubt. Upaya. There are certain secret methods. Desha kaladya. Like the right place and the right time. Don't go to the marketplace and sit on the street and try to meditate. It's not the right place. A quiet place. A quiet place which has a holy touch. A temple. Ashram of the Guru. Himalayas. The right place. Desha. And similarly, Kala. And don't do it. After lunch, I meditate. <laughs> Surely, good meditation but always sit near the corner of the room so that you may not fall down <laughs> and sleep. Right time. Early morning, 4, 4.30, Brahma Murta type, the right time, the right place. These have got an effect in the beginning stages. A student will find more inspiration when he is chosen the right place and right time. Deshakaladhyā. Sandhi, they are there, but Sahakarina, they are secondary. They are a help, no doubt. But don't depend upon it. Once you have got the mental equilibrium and balance to contemplate any place, any time, it is all.